He's Brett Gardner on a couple times with a walk and a single. Let's hear from the veteran. Hey, Brett, just how frustrating is it that it seems like you guys can't break through uh, against the Rays so far this season? Yeah, I mean, it's very frustrating. We've been playing pretty good baseball recently and obviously, um, you know, didn't have a good trip down there to Tampa, um, you know, week two weeks ago. And, and obviously these last two days haven't haven't gone our way. So just something that we got to keep working on and try and try and find a way to solve those guys. Offensively, we have to do a better job of, uh, of getting to their pitchers and taking advantage of the few opportunities that we do give ourselves when we've got guys out there on base and have a little bit of traffic. So, yeah, it's frustrating. Obviously, they're uh, they got a really, really good team. They're one of the best teams in the American League. And, and in order for us to, um, you know, get to where we want to be at at the end of the year and be the last team standing, that's one of the teams that we've got to figure out and, and, and get through. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, come out tomorrow and, and, and find a way to avoid getting swept and, um, you know, move forward. But, um, yeah, they got a really good team, really good pitching staff, um, you know, seem to come up with timely hits when, when they need them late in the game. And, um, you know, we just have to uh, play better against them. Last now looked pretty solid, especially early on. What makes him so tough? Well, he's got a real good fastball. He's got a real good curveball. And uh, he's got a little change up that he mixes in every now and then. But, yeah, I mean, when he's able to, when he's able to command and locate, um, you know, his, um, his stuff is as good as anybody's in the game. And, um, you know, I thought that, um, you know, tonight, um, you know, we kind of let him off the hook a couple times and, and chased some pitches that were pitcher's pitches and um, just weren't able, to, weren't able to get to him. Thanks, Brett. Who else has a question for Guardy? Brian Hoke, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Brett. Uh, Derek Cole was just in the interview room, and he was still pretty steamed about coming out of the game. Just wondering what uh, it's been like playing behind him, what your impressions have been of uh, having him as a teammate. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's the ultimate competitor. That's what makes him, that's what makes him so good. I mean, besides how good of it, how, how good his right arm is and how good his stuff is. But, but mentally, he just, he loves to compete every five days and loves taking the ball. And, you know, he's a guy that probably, if he had it his way, he'd go out there and throw 140 or 150 pitches every five days. He wants to finish the game when he starts the game. So that doesn't surprise me that he was upset about that. I mean, he, um, as I said, he, he wants the ball. And um, we love that about him. We love playing behind him. And, I thought he did a really good job again tonight. Again, it's it's you know more so on the offense than anything for us to solve Tampa's pitching and um, get him a little more run support.